Hello Scorpio, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today I'll be taking a look at the recent past, the present and the future in reference to a love connection that continues to trouble you. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. Private readings with me are an hour long via FaceTime, Google Duo or regular phone conversation and the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content onto YouTube is by following me on Instagram. The link is below. All right. So let's speak to spirit and let's see what spirit has for us in reference to Scorpio's person. Please speak to me in reference to how Scorpio's person has been feeling in the recent past. Spirit, please talk to me in reference to Scorpio's person. Who are they and how have they been feeling in the recent past? Please talk to me about Scorpio's person. You have Pisces energy coming out right away. Some of you guys could be dealing with another water sign. We have Aries energy coming out also. Please speak to me in reference to Scorpio's person for the recent past. Tell me about Scorpio's person for the recent past. This wanted to come out. Tell me more about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Okay. So Scorpio, I'm definitely feeling like you're not getting what you want out of a situation. You're not giving to it right now. That's probably why you guys are having issues in a connection or it's probably why you feel lonely. And I feel that part of this is self-inflicted. I feel like you feel lonely because you're unsatisfied with something. Therefore, you don't want anybody around you or you don't want to get serious with anybody right now for whatever reason. And I feel like you could be isolating a little bit and you could be a little held back. And if you're in a connection, I feel like your person is wondering why you are so distant or why, why you're so distant and why you feel like you have to be, right? Because they, they question often, like, if you really love me, then why do you feel like you have to be so away from me or apart from me if you really love me, is what I feel your person is saying to you. But with this page of cups in reverse, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy in reverse, I feel like you're no longer interested in participating in something that you used to give to. There's something that you used to give attention to that you no longer want to put effort in for the moment. Of course, energy is, it's gonna change. Energy will not stay the same. So of course you're watching this and you know, this is not forever. Right. This is why I try to do these every day. I don't do Scorpio every day because I go by how many views that I get and I cater to um, the signs that view me the most. I really wish that Scorpio would view me more so that I could do your video a little bit more. I know you guys wonder, like, why doesn't she do Scorpio enough? But I need more of your Scorpio attention, you know. <laughs> um, but I feel like the energy will change. OK, um, but for right now. I don't think that you're interested in giving. Now, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus with the Empress energy coming out here. We have the Moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. We have the Fool energy, which is the card of Aries. And then we have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn as well. But what I'm getting here is that... If you're dealing with an earth sign, then you view this person as your biggest opportunity. They are 
highly important to you. You probably have children with this person and they have made a tremendous impact in your life, okay? But I feel like the earth sign is becoming a little optimistic about what their future looks like without you. And I know that you don't want to hear something like that, but the way that I'm feeling about your energy, you're not interested in giving to something anymore. And I feel like your person is saying, well, if that's how you feel, then I need to look in another direction too. So I don't necessarily see your person stuck and crying all day over you, Scorpio. I feel like somebody is trying to move on. If you feel like you have to move on, then I feel like your person is going to do the same. Because there are some things that are coming to light here that you never really thought were present. And this whole experience is teaching you a very valuable lesson, especially when it comes to relationships and deepening connections and bonds with people. And next time, you're going to be a little bit more careful because this wound, it hurts too much, right? It's unbearable is what I get. So let's take a look at the present when it comes to Scorpio and the person that they're dealing with. Please speak to me. Okay, we have Earth energy coming out here with the Four of Pentacles. So even though you feel detached from someone or you feel like letting go of someone, the Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. And even if you're not dealing with a Capricorn, your person is still holding on to you for dear life. They don't want to let you go and they don't want to let this go. They're not ready to. But I feel like you are. And if you are ready, Scorpio, then it's time for you to admit that to yourself and little by little start admitting it to someone else as well, right? There's something that you don't want to continue to do anymore, and that is okay. That could be as simple as talking about something that you just don't want to talk about anymore. That could be as simple as just you don't want to associate with certain people anymore. That's okay, but you have to tell people because they won't know unless you express that more Capricorn energy coming out here so either you or they feel chained right to this situation to this connection somebody still wants to give to you Scorpio they do they do they want to continue something or they want you to continue something but you don't want to you know what that is right Either this is somebody who keeps bringing something up that you don't want to hear anymore, or there are certain people that just need to leave your life and need to leave you alone. Or there's a connection that is no longer serving you, that is very valuable to you, that is always going to have this great place in your life. However, I don't feel like you see this person in your future. And it's hard for you to be honest with this person about that because you love them and you don't want to hurt them. Just because you feel like you guys don't belong together doesn't mean that you don't love them. You do. Tell me more about the present moment. Okay. Yeah. And, and you guys are going to be talking to someone about this, or I feel like you will start to communicate with this person about how you've been feeling and how things need to go. There is a conversation that takes place here, either with someone close to you, a friend, or with the person that you are in a commitment with. There's discussion that takes place here that has to do with you dropping something that is difficult for you to let go of. And for some of you, that may be a therapist. For some of you, you need to go and seek professional help. And that's part of the reason why you're watching this. And there's nothing wrong with therapy. I think it's absolutely wonderful. This is a form of therapy. It's, it puts a twist on therapy, though, because it's entertaining with the cards. And it's an astrological remedy. It distracts your mind with astrology while you are able to vent and talk about what you're going through. It's a form of therapy. It's more interesting.
please speak to me in reference to the future? You have more earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your future. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Scorpio and the person that they're dealing with. You know, this person doesn't want to let you go, Scorpio. All right. Um, and there's a lot of love between the both of you, right? But in the future, I see that your person, they are, are going to stop having faith in the situation because of the way that they feel you pushing away or um, being held back. They feel like perhaps they should look in another direction with the Two of Pentacles. They're kind of in the future. They're kind of in the air about you know, maybe this person really doesn't want to continue this or, you know, they're starting to get your point, Scorpio. If you're looking to end something with someone, I don't see them suffering over this. I feel like they will throw up their hands as well and walk away. Even though they love you and even though um, one of you has tried to control this too much, but someone can't control it anymore. And someone's just giving up on the control in the future. Please speak to me in reference to this emperor energy in the future for Scorpio. Clarity. I mean, I feel like freedom is what someone is seeking here. And I feel like you're going to have it because that's what you want. It's what you desire. You desire to be free, to not be caged, to not be trapped, to not be stuck. And that's how you have been feeling. And if that's how you have been feeling, I think that you need to express that a little more. I feel like in the future you will because then that gives somebody the clarity that they need. If that's how you really feel, then someone isn't going to convince you to stay. If you want to be free, you will free yourself. I feel like you will. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in the future for Scorpio. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for Scorpio, please. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for Scorpio. The Seven of Wands, but I feel like the more you want to free yourself, somebody wants to fight for this. So just be aware of that, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about the person who wants to fight for something to continue that needs to end. It's somebody who has a close eye on you and feels like they need to be in touch with you and feels like they need to communicate something to you that you don't want to hear anymore it's like you don't want to hear it is the energy that i get from you scorpio which is why you feel like you need to be away or go away because you're tired of hearing the same thing one more card and we'll wrap this up for scorpio the four of cups and I know that you feel lonely, Scorpio, but what I feel like is you'd rather be alone right now. I feel like that's what you want. And that's not going to sit well with everyone and not everyone is going to take that well. But I think that everything happens for a reason and you need to take time for you and your person needs to take time for them. And then if you're supposed to come back together, then that will happen. But you can't find the solution to a problem with both of you in the same room, especially if there's chaos. Those energies aren't working together right now. So there needs to be some air. And that's what I believe you're doing. You're taking your time. All right, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new Scorpio video or any video for any other Zodiac sign is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. Thank you and take care.